if at certain points throughout my day I consciously think, damn, I cannot wait to vlog about this. I'm a committed vlogger. Vlogger. Mm, vlogger, I guess. Yeah, I'm so committed that I literally ran in my front door, ran up my stairs, threw my shit down, and here I am. My face is still rosy pink from what? Oh, that's right. The fucking heinous ass fucking bitch cold that is the weather and my heart right now. I hate. I'm just, I hate. Uh, the bus, okay? You know, emergency weather schedule, even though it's like, the roads are fine. So I wait for freaking ever. My hands are so cold. Oh, oh, oh. oh you're killing me here. Yeah. I wait for Alpha, and it finally shows up, and this weird girl lady thing, whatever, she leaves. And then, um, I get in the damn bus. And the bus driver, you know, look, I ain't saying being a bus driver is the most exciting thing, so I can understand where you'd want to kind of maybe uh, make it a little more exciting. Alicia, stop paying attention. But must you make it exciting by saying, no, really, think of something else. Uh, you'll win them over by sticking your tongue out. I'm so sorry I got distracted. By singing uh, hymnal? Yeah, yeah. He wasn't just singing, he was whistling Amazing Grace. But uh, on my bus, you have to shout out the roads that, not shout, but he, the bus driver announces the roads that they're driving by at the time. So anyone who's sleeping or drunk, that's a whole other story. Whiskey on the bus, not a good idea, but some people think it is. Anyway, uh, to shout out the places for the people that are there. So he just starts blessing his little heart out. But not just like... I'm talking... Head Street. Wall Street. <laughs> College Avenue. Okay. I'm not even kidding. I'm not even fucking exaggerating. Like, that was it. And then he kept doing it over and over. And then, guy gets on the bus. Some seats face forward, some seats face this way. I'm facing forward. There's like literally a foot from me and the seat facing this way. So many empty seats. But you, you fat guy in a blue coat had to pick the seat right fucking there, right in front. I'm, si I'm just, I'm, I'm sitting and he comes up and then says, well, cold enough for y'all. I'm like, ah, so cold you could freeze your dead carcass outside of my door. I didn't say it, but just think those people are like, ooh, fry an egg out there. Mm. Yeah, I know. I can't fucking feel my feet. I realize it's cold. <sighs> keeps talking, keeps talking. He smells like smoke. And he works at Applebee's. Oh, thank God, because I was just sitting there like, oh my God, where do you work? Please tell me now. Please tell me, tell me, tell me. And then so he just told me his life story. Um, this, I mean, we... <sighs> And that fall was not intentional, so be glad you got to witness it.